hey guys welcome to this video in this video we're going to be treating on paginations in Django so pagination basically allows you to differentiate or split a list of data into different pages now this is very useful for maybe you have let's say hundreds or thousands of data and you want to um, just like show them on an HTML page pagination will allow you to show those data maybe like 10 per page or something like that now let me show you what I mean here so you can see it's sh basically showing a list of names so i have these names as a model in my django project and in that model i have nine objects in there but right here i wanted to show three names per page so right here i can say next once i click on next you see it shows me the next names and then i see first previous next i can move to the last and i can move to next page three of three first and previous can go back to the first page or basically just to navigate through all the data without having everything show at once in one page so let's go ahead and do this so guys this is the model which i'm showing in the html and basically for profile in object list it should just show the profile.name so back in my views of py we're using a class-based view here so for us to do this is very easy in a class-based view what we just need to write here to say paginate by now in this paginate by is going to ask you for the amount of values you want to show per page so now i want to show three values per page now let me save it like this if i go back and then refresh let me something like this now once I refresh, you see it just shows three values. But if I don't add this, let me delete it and save it again. Now when I come back here and refresh, you see it just shows all the names, all the nine names. But when we add this, it shows three per page. We can also change it to two or any amount you want. Now once I click here and press enter, you see it shows only two. Then what I want to do is to show uh, a navigation bar here yeah, where you can easily move to another page, the next page, the last page, previous and first. So first to do this, we're just going to come back to our page. Let's change this back to three. So back in our index.html, under the list of names, let's just put a br. So right here, let's say div tag. What we want to do is to say page. What we just want to do is like page one of three, something like that. Something like this to show. Something like this. But we want it to be dynamic. So once it's the second page, it should tell us page two of three and some stuff like that. So first to do this, we're going to say page. Page object dot number this is to get the current page number of now this three we're also going to change it to page obj dot paginator dot page number dot num pages like this yes now once we save this and come back it should still show us the same thing now you see it says page one of three but we didn't type that page one of three statically it's dynamic so now once we come down we want to show like a list we want to show a navigation bar so what we're just going to do is define like a ul so let's give it a styling let me do something like style then margin left 10 pixels and then I can give it a class of pagination. So right in this UL, what I want to do, I want to use an if statement. So I'm going to say something like if page object dot as underscore previous. So this is to check if this the page the current page we are in as a previous page first of all let's end the if and if so in this if statement 
what I want to do is pass a list the list a link so now it should do something like let's come here and give it an iPad link here so it should say is page equals one now this one is basically just to get the first page first page so to give it an icon we can give something like and so that should be here yes then we can say l a q i think u o then a semicolon yes this is to give it like let me show you guys right here okay currently the page doesn't have a previous page so we're not going to see anything right here so let's continue and you're going to see the output so let's give it another list for previous page to show the previous page so same thing a link f now what we want to do is page but now equals to page underscore obj dot previous underscore page underscore number now this is what we're doing we want it to go to the previous page number now we can just copy these copy and then paste it in here right here okay we don't need this we can just say previous actually so let's say previous yes this should be fine let's close this so we can save this now what we want to do is to just use another if statement but now this if statement is just gonna check if it has another page if there is a next page to check if we're in the last page or if we still have a page after the page we are currently in so page underscore obj dot as underscore next so if this happens let's first close the if statement and if so we're gonna use a list the link and let's give it href so right in here so i'm gonna say pa right here ph should be equals to page underscore obj dot next underscore page underscore number now this is to show the next page now let's just copy this and paste this also now we also want to show the last page so i'm just gonna say page obj dot paginator dot norm pages So right here I'm just gonna say last so now this is all we need as you can see it's pretty easy once we have all this done we can just come back here and then refresh okay it says um, did you forget to reload a tag so it says page obj let's see okay that is number 25 line 25 was supposed to use if so now let's save that and come back here okay now you guys can see page one of three we can move to the next page it shows the next pages the next names page two of three now we can move back to the first previous next or last we can also move back to the next page now since this is the last page page three of three we didn't see next or last again that's why we use an if statement so now we can just go back to the first from here and it will take us back here so this is how to use pagination in Django using a class-based view. I hope you guys understood this. If you did, please don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe and press the bell notification button so you get notified when I drop new videos. Having that said, thank you for watching 
and bye for now.